Okay guys, so today I'm gonna cover the 3.2 update, my overall thoughts of this update. Some changes that they're starting to tweak is some of this melee attacks, both heavy, and I think they still need to do some tweaking with the auto aim slash uh, probably like targeting with the melee. I think there, there's something weird going on still there, but let's dive into this update. So some bug fixes. Let's see here, got a last day of the open. Let's see here, get ready for pop, poor, perform. Content bug fixes. So they tweaked the inspect animations. Uh, let's see, they also fixed the weapon would be visible while getting revived. Just some basic animation fixes. So you hear the gadget. It can no longer attach to surfaces that are out of bounds. That's kind of interesting. The dome shield fixed an issue where the dome shield would skip on a bounce off of water surfaces. Okay. Hmm. I, I'm assuming that has to do more with the new map. The new map has a lot of a lot of water. The new map is prime. Uh, if you guys not played the new map, give it a shot. It is outstanding. It is probably one of the best multiplayer maps I have played in a long time. So let's see here. Private matches. I'm kind of happy about this. This disconnect players. They had this option available in ranked, which makes sense. But I will say I have played with a five squad and we lose a player and they're out for the rest of the game. I don't know how fast they they're going to give this disconnected player to reconnect. I don't know if if the game knows did they specifically request a disconnect or the game disconnected. If the game disconnected, you know, cool, but I also don't want to sit there and possibly just be down a player if they disconnected and they're just giving them the option to reconnect, and they don't. That this this is balanced reasonably well, but I actually am really happy about this. This is this is a good good quality of life change. Fix an issue that would cause the game to lock players in a state of accepting an invite. That sounds like that's their problem. <laughs> A solo bank is temporarily removed due to a bug. Cash out fixed an issue where the cash out box icon would not reappear after fading away for the first time. I've seen it where it seemed like it took a little longer than normal. I mean, I don't think that's a huge deal necessarily, but that is that would have made it really pro to just, you know, if you got the cash out box the first time and then go run around and hide. So terminal attack. I've not played terminal attack this this season yet. I've done a lot of cash out, but um, looks like they they've made some changes to terminal attack. Power shift, and I've not played any power shift this this season as well. Oh, fixed by that made it possible to overtake the platform after the round had ended. I assume that time then probably gave him another minute or something. That's kind of interesting or not sure how that actually worked with that bug. So cosmetics and distance fields to save memory. Cool. We love performance changes. I feel like this game overall has a decent, has pretty good performance overall. Like I, I don't think I have too many issues with the performance of this game, I think the biggest issue I have with it is server stability. There are cases in which I and I think every game kind of has this problem where, you know, you you're you are clearly behind a wall on your screen, but you end up dying still. So I think that's just that's part of being an online multiplayer game. But that's just kind of my my one issue with with what they have going on. But from a performance standpoint, this game is pretty well optimized. And then some winch claw stuff where the people are grabbing stuff out of out of play. Some UI stuff. Let's see here. And this is what I was kind of talking about previously with a dagger where they fixed an issue where the dagger secondary backstab could hit multiple players at once, which was unintended. Now they did, I think, intend so that the heavy hitting attacks intended for single targets can be used to hit multiple people. Uh, so I think this is an issue where I've I've heard people talk about where it's like getting backstabbed and they instantly die. And I wonder if there was like a weird bug in which the secondary backstab was able to maybe possibly do a double swipe with the heavy hit and do double the amount of damage. Now, the, I mean, the dagger already is outstanding. I mean, it's I'm not a fan of it, but the fact that you can one tap both a light and a medium with a backstab and for a heavy, it's a heavy hit and I think one melee like a quick melee. You can one tap any class. So honestly, the daggers probably dishes out the most damage in this game. I, I can see why people like to use it. Sledgehammer, fixed an issue with the sledgehammer secondary overhead swing attack could hit multiple players at once, which was unintended. I am okay with, with this hitting multiple players. I don't think that's a huge issue. Now, maybe they want to have the primary maybe hit multiple players. <sighs> I don't know. I, I think the heavy, the heavy's melee, I think should be able to just because I think the heavy overall 
with its with his slow mobility and plenty of other classes to have the ability to one run away and or prevent them heavy from moving i'm, I'm okay with this I, I i'd be okay if they reverted this one takes issue where the scope glint effect would not be shown at distance over 150 meters it's kind of a, a problem there but happy they fixed that didn't know that was an issue let's see here keto so they made some stuff to keto for destruction cool Change the collision of these see-through curtains so that all projectiles and thrown objects pass through them. Okay. And then some more anti-bot stuff. I, I'm happy with this. They need to keep pushing it. A free-to-play game just asks for cheaters. And that, that's hard. But I think they're moving in the right direction. Um, I'm excited to keep playing this game. I hope to see you guys out in this new update. And you know what? Let's watch the video for the 3.2 update. I'm assuming they've added some new skins. And then I think they also updated the weekly. So, yep. Just some new skins. Nothing crazy. Nothing, yeah, nothing new crazy from the skins I, I, I saw there. But good looking skins. Yeah. Solid update. So, cool. I'll catch you guys out in the finals. You guys have a good one. Sponsors, thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.